So as the world turns digital, it can be hard to navigate the do's and don'ts of Zoom meetings at work. I feel like I have a whole lot of them here at Ticker at the moment. Let's do one right now. Lisa Butler, the Manager Director of the Talia Group. Thank you so much for your time, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, this is a bit like a Zoom call. How am I doing so far? <laughs> You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. I think you're ticking quite a few of the boxes that I was going to talk to you about today. I haven't got so. the moccasins on or the, the bike shorts on, of course, at this stage. Oh. Um, maybe if it was a little bit warmer. Um, but talk to us about how we, you are seeing, you are witnessing workplaces change and dealing with Zoom at the moment. Oh, yeah. Well, in my business, I do a lot of uh, communication training and that's naturally shifted dramatically in the last five months or so. Um, whereas I'd be working with people face to face, it's now all done virtually. And, and a lot of the work I'm now doing with my clients is helping them to cope with communicating in this virtual world and you know we're now communicating every, every day in so many different ways virtually interviews meetings workshops and it's um it's such a shift for people and i think initially it was a it was a novelty and we were all very <laughs> yes. ready i totally COVID. agree i mean when i think of having a zoom meeting these days I'm so reluctant to do it. We had one a couple of weeks ago for our birthday here at Ticker. Wanted to obviously get everyone in the office. If stage three had stayed, it would have ended just in time. But then we went into stage four, so we decided to have a Zoom party. And everyone was coming at me with ideas. Why don't we do a quiz? Why don't we do this? And I just was like, you know what? Let's organize it on the day, see if we can be bothered. And maybe let's just open a couple of drinks and have a laugh. But it seems to be that we're all a bit exhausted at the moment. What do you think? Yeah, I think we are. And, and they're, they're calling it Zoom fatigue. And I, and I think there is definitely um, an exhaustion component to it. And, you know, we saw initially that even with workplaces, productivity increased at the start of the, the first lockdown and during the first lockdown. And now we're seeing productivity significantly decrease. And, and I'm sure there's a whole range of factors for that. But I think the fact that we just can't get together and be face to face has a has a massive impact on that. So, um, but unfortunately, I think the virtual communication uh, is here to stay. It's here to stay for a long time. And I was just listening to your earlier interview. It's going to be a while before everyone's back in the cities. And uh, you know, a lot of my clients are half staff or third staff. You know, people coming in one or two days a week, um, and, and still, but still, even then, doing a lot of their communication virtually with their their colleagues and clients. So it's definitely, it's definitely here to stay. Unfortunately, so it's interesting. So, you're talking about how it's essentially it became quite a bit of fun, um, and yeah. there was a bit of a gimmick aspect to it. Like I've seen <laughs> friends of mine tell me about how they were doing business meetings where it was, you know, bring your pets in and, and dress as a superhero and let's play some 80s music and let's do a quiz and all these sorts of things. But it's kind of like the advent of the telephone. Uh, it was this very exciting thing. And now, of course, it's all about business. How do you see Zoom fitting into our uh, business world going forward? As we say, things will be a lot less about traveling to work and more about um, basically work fitting into your life. How does Zoom fit into our lives? Yeah, I think, as I said, it's here to stay. So I think we have to accept that. And I think the creativity will come back. I think like anything, we, we have this initial, yay, this is so exciting. We can be yeah. different. And all of a sudden, we, oh, that gosh, now it's not quite so exciting. <laughs> but we will get back to some sense of normality. And I think that yeah. creative innovation will come back. Yeah. Um, but I, I really think that ultimately it comes down to um, a, a few key things and, and, and that is preparing well for it, uh, being more aware of the visual components. I think because we miss that getting face to face, we don't get the full picture often when we're communicating virtually that we would do as if we were sitting you know, across from someone. So yeah. we miss a lot of those nuances, the, the non-verbals. Um, and so using zoom and being aware of that you know using not only zoom but any platform and i've yeah. been using about 15 different platforms the last few months but being able to adapt to the fact we can only really see from here up so um it means that we perhaps there's a risk of misinterpreting or miscommunication so we need to uh, actually do more active listening ask more questions you know, to clarify. Um, and I think uh, also from our perspective of making sure we're not 
uh, conveying the wrong impressions or, or or making sure people are interpreting us correctly is to, yeah, to exactly. be and I think that's about. a big part of it isn't it that that self-awareness mm. is starting yes, to come into Zoom much. it's not just about projecting but also thinking about how you are being seen Lisa really appreciate your time today thank you you're welcome thank you